Caterpillar uh, C5000 has a K21 engine and the problem is it has a misfire dead miss let's crank it up it has a dead miss so first thing we do is do a power balance test alright so we're going to try to uh, unplug each coil do an RPM drop plug this one I can take it out with one hand. There you go. Okay. Big RPM drop. Second one. Pick this out. Okay, RPM drop. Back in. Okay, that's good. This one out. Third one. Okay, RPM drop. That's good. We go to the last one. Cylinder number one. Try to do this. No reaction whatsoever. So number one is our offending cylinder. But we don't know yet what's wrong with it. So next steps I'm gonna try to look for a control signal on that coil. Okay. So right now I have my uh, channel one hooked up to my uh, good coil. So I'm going to be looking at the signal, the control signal. And right now channel one. So setup for this is channel A. I got 50 milliseconds per division and 10 volts. Big. So let's start it and see what we see on that coil. see right now there's an even pattern not really a square wave but we can call this as a reference because that's a good working coil all right so right now I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna look at the uh, cylinder number one see what see see what the uh, signal we get okay same setup on the scope but right now I'm uh, gonna be looking at cylinder number one our offending cylinder and let's start this and see what we get. Crank this up. And you see the same pattern. So as far as the signal is concerned, I mean it's getting there. Alright, so pull out the coils, mark them. So this is for cylinder number two. Alright, this is a good working coil. And this is cylinder number one. I'm gonna swap it and see what happens. Okay, swap the coils, number one and number two. So we know number, ha number one cylinder had a problem earlier and we're thinking that it's gonna be a coil. All right, so I swapped the number one with the number two because we know number two had a big RPM drop. And so if the problem transfers over now to the number two, two cylinder, then we know it's gonna be a coil. But if it's not, then we look further. So let's crank it over. Okay. Running, let's do a power balance test again. So number one, or number two actually, the number one coil. No RPM drop. Let's look at number two. Coil in the number one cylinder. Big RPM drop. Okay, so this is gonna be a coil. hooked up now to the number two coil on cylinder number one which we know is still good and right now you can see the difference in the pattern and right here let's uh, zoom in on that for a bit too much so right there that's a good coil ramp you see the oscillations for that and that ramping up which we didn't see on the um, number one coil uh, for this one that's it we're just going to replace the coil and pretty much it's going to be good